Hi, welcome to Mainland Cycle Center's pre-owned vehicle department. Today I want to show you a 2006 Kawasaki Concourse 1000. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this bike, or maybe a lot about this bike, uh, and the history on the Concourse 1000s. The Concourse 1000 was first introduced by Kawasaki way back in 1986. And they made, they sold these basically unchanged up until 2006. They did have a couple of little changes here and there on them but for the most part there was not a lot of changes on these from 1986 to 2006 basically the same motor and the same bike uh, but they just worked really well and they were very affordable and that's why Kawasaki did that uh, they came standard with the saddlebags the hard bags on them uh, the trunk on this bike was added this is a GV trunk which is made in Italy very good quality it's the mono key trunk uh, I'm not sure exactly what size this is, but it's a large one, um, and it has the rack on top, and then it also has the backrest pad for a passenger. This bike is in pretty nice condition. Uh, it was ridden probably more than it was cleaned, uh, but it's not torn up, and there's no real damage, especially on it. I have a little mark here or there on it, and I'll point some of those flaws out to you as well as some of the, the good stuff, but the paint is pretty nice on it. It's this great metallic blue paint nice big fairing it's got the stock windshield on it the tires are decent they're not great but they're pretty decent uh, the wheels are kind of what's not real clean on this bike uh, we cleaned on them some but uh, they could use some more detailing a little bit of corrosion there on the brake caliper uh, everything works well on this bike and it runs good but uh, this bike's got about 58,000 miles on it so uh, again I think it was ridden probably more than it was clean and uh, there's nothing wrong with that Uh, there's a little bit of wear on the seat. The seam, some of the seams are starting to come apart, so the seat's getting a little, a little bit weak on it. There, it does have this little tank bra on it. Let's take a look at the instrumentation on it. 58,000 miles. We got a fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer, a temperature gauge, a neutral light, high beam indicator, oil pressure warning light, turn signal indicators. It's got a digital clock. There's a couple of storage compartments, one on each side. Um, there, you do have some adjustments on your front forks there. Hydraulic clutch, there's your clutch lever. Uh, front brake lever, there. The bags on these are removable, and I'll show you how this one, because I unlocked this one previous to starting the video. But there's a little lock here, and you can lock this. There's a little uh, keyhole right there, and we do have the key for it, but you unlock it like that. And then it's got a little handle here on top, and you kind of pick it up, and it comes off just like that. Now, there's some little filler panels. You can take these brackets right here off, and there's a body color, a blue matches the body panel that snaps in there and make this, makes this very sleek. So if you want to take the bags off and ride without them and make it look like they were never there, you can. And, uh, but, uh, of course, for maintenance and cleaning, the bags come off very easily. Which is nice. And uh, just like that. And of course, they open here on top. And it looks like we've got uh, some uh, magazines and catalogs on the Concourse and the Concourse Owners Club. Looks like there's an owner's manual there. So, a little bit of that information. Uh, the trunk is also removable. You've got to have the key for that. This is what we call a uh, GV calls rather a mono key trunk so one key one lock opens everything from uh, there you go it pops the handle there and then uh, there's a little button right down here Just push and then that opens the trunk so it's got a nice large trunk should hold a couple of helmets I would think and then if you push the button here, that will take the trunk completely off, just like that. So there's a good look, maybe, of the bike without the trunk on it. Of course, the trunk is nice. Lots of added uh, space if you need to carry a laptop computer or anything like that back and forth to work. Uh, you can do that. Okay, it comes on and off nice and easy. 
We'll go ahead and crank this bike up for you. It runs real nice. Turn the key on. Start buttons here. These are carbureted. I pulled this bike around here a few minutes ago, so it's kind of warmed up already. But no smoking, everything runs nice on it, idles nice. There's a 12 volt power outlet here and there. Looks like those were added, those were not factory power outlets. Uh, these are a liquid cooled motor, uh, 1000 cc's, dual overhead cam, full valve per cylinder, uh, dual disc brakes on the front, disc brake in the rear. Just a good running bike. This motor was originally, uh, this motor was this kind of the same motor used in the 900 Ninja, the 900 and 1000 Eliminators, even the 86, 87, uh, I believe the 86, 87, 1000 Ninjas basically used this motor. They were chain drive in those bikes, were shaft drive here. Has a center stand, of course. You can see it's sitting on the center stand now. I'm sure there's something I'm missing, but uh, just a really great bike. Uh, a lot of bike for the money. Uh, these are known to run a lot of miles, so even though this one's got 58,000 miles on it, I think there's still some life left in it. Obvious that this bike has not been abused, but uh, it looks like it's been ridden and maintained. All right, well there you have it. That's a quick look at a 2006 Kawasaki Concours 1000. We are Mainland Cycle Center, and we're located about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45 in Lamarck, Texas. Our website is MainlandCycleCenter.com. Our phone number is 409-948-4969. Uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, come by and see us. We'd love to help any way we can. Thanks for watching our video.